Hey everyone, in this video we're going to teach you how to change or adjust your Windows 10 clock and your time zone. So those are two options. In addition to that, we're going to be covering one or two ways where you can add multiple clocks. So maybe you have a friend or a relative at, at a different time zone or you work in multiple uh, time zones or countries or any sort of arrangements you may need to have access to more than one clock at the same time. So we're going to teach you how to actually uh, have that running on your Windows 10 so you can check all the time zones at different points. So first thing you want to do is, as usual with Windows, you want to go to settings. And as I've told you before in multiple times in multiple videos, uh, you have two ways about going to settings. So first one is you click here and you press on this little settings or start menu and settings okay so i'm going to use this one for now now as you come here you see all of these beautiful icons all the options that you have we have this little one here that says time and language so we want to go on time and language we have covered language and speech before in another video if i'm not mistaken so if you're interested in those we will be covering those two sections in a separate video. For now, let's focus on date and time and region. Now, I'm going to go with region first because it's a more simplified version of the other two. Uh, fairly simple, so you can collect your country, whatever it is, from here uh, if you choose to. Uh, regional format, that's how you get all sorts of dates and time and language and all that stuff. You can change data formats. As you can see, you can have Gregorian calendar. Uh, I don't know if you could add to those, but I reckon that you could if you change your uh, language pack. You can uh, choose the type of format that you see your date in. First day of the week for you, if you want to change that stuff. You can have long date. You'll get day or date or any sorts of arrangements short time i don't need to explain what that that's for a long time you can also pick it whatever you want so those are the ways that your clock is shown and if you want a longer format then obviously you could use these so with seconds and everything so that is data format there's really nothing else here unless you want to change your region you may want to play around as you can see, it says Windows and apps might use your country or region to give you local content. So some of the applications you use may take this time and use it to give you uh, different clocks or adjustments in the apps that you use. So let's go to date and time, which is a more uh, significant one, I would say. So you have a couple of options here. You can have you can choose your Windows to set your time automatically, which is usually an option that works for many people. So if you want that, you can turn that on. Uh, you can synchronize your clock so if you feel like for any number of reason it's messed up or somebody's messed with it you can synchronize the clock time server is of course the windows.com's official server here is the time zone that you want to go on we have pull you have all sorts of time zones you can see this is worldwide whatever you want is here okay so you can also adjust for daylight saving time automatically. That is the time of the year where you go from uh, winter to spring and then from summer to fall. Uh, your the, the clock falls back and falls behind one hour. If you have this option on, the windows will adjust that for you automatically. No need to manually apply. We also have another option that is different types of calendars. If you're interested in those, you have traditional Chinese, simplified Chinese, or don't show additional calendars. If you want those additional calendars, like, like try, let's try this one. As you can see, I get the traditional calendar as well. So don't show additional calendars. I'm just fine with these simple ones. But if you're interested in those, you could, you could get those as well. Now, uh, we have two more options left. Uh, we have date, time, and regional formatting. And then you have add clocks for different time zones. So let's go through all of those. 
This one, I've discussed it before. When you click it, you go back to the region section we discussed before. So what's left is add clocks for different time zone. Now, the function of this one is actually pretty interesting. You may want to have access to more than one time zone while you're browsing. By that, I mean, you don't want to, if you want, for example, if you're in California and you want to know what's the time in UK, you don't have to come here and change your main local time zone to know what's the time in UK or do you want to Google it. What you can do is you can have your Windows 10 adjusted for two clocks and maybe see what's the time in those additional time zones. So I have set two clocks here, as you can see. My main time zone is California. I've selected India and Havana. So, and you can change the name. So, because the Windows doesn't tell you what region does that clock belong to. So, I'll go India and Havana. Maybe you have someone you know in India, so instead of putting India like I did, you could put in the name of that person. So like, let's say John is in India. And I'm not gonna change the name of this one for uh, Havana. So let's click apply, and okay. Now, if you click here, as you can see, see, you see the time here. Also, you can see it here. So basically I can have up to three clocks running at the same time. And yeah, that's how you change time, add clocks or adjust time zones on Windows 10. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please make sure to click thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, check out similar videos like this if you're interested. And if you have any questions, ask them in the comments section. I will see you later. Bye-bye.